Okay, welcome everybody. So today I thought I'll do a quick video on GoPros. I'll take you through what I have, what I use and uh, some accessories uh, that I've used and that I found quite useful and obviously some accessories that came with GoPro packages and that I've never used or probably have no use for them at all at this stage. Um, I'm no means professional uh, in photography or making videos but what I do is I do use GoPros on you know recreationally and in everyday life and you know when we go on holidays uh, use a lot in the swimming pools and find them quite useful and uh, actually quite good and easy to use so my main pack what I, I normally travel with and what I have with me is this box right and this contains all the GoPros uh, that I use and uh, the accessories that I use and then I have some other accessories which I'll show you as well which really has been just sitting in the box so let's take a look so obviously the main thing is I have two GoPros I have GoPro uh, 6 uh, and GoPro 7 Right, so seven and six, and you clearly see you know, the, the big change, which you could see when you get them. Um, there is a slightly different color, even though both of them, I believe, called black. Uh, there is a slightly different logo, and obviously on the side here you have seven black, and, uh, and then you have the covers, uh, which I think you buy separately, and also on both of them I have protective covers right on all the screens. Uh, just to protect them. So that's a GoPros. Um, I have a remote. So a little remote control. Uh, I do use it occasionally, uh, not very often. I use it mainly uh, if I'm driving and I want to, and the GoPro sits outside the car and I want to record something. So, and for the mounting uh, of the GoPro outside the car, I use this. It's quite a strong. Uh, sucking machine so it's, it's actually work, works quite well and you know so far you know, it didn't fall off the car uh, every time I used it but we'll get back to it so two GoPros uh, remote control then I have a couple other accessories I have this clip uh, which I usually put it on the shoulder strap of, of the backpack uh, and you stick it up and you mount your GoPro here and it actually works very well uh, walking around you know if you, especially if you're doing walking tours and you just want to record them um, it's, a, it's a great little tool I think that was extra about 10 bucks extra I bought it separately then I have uh, two uh, swimming sticks so for each GoPro um, and they basically so they Full, they open up uh, you can store things especially if you go snorkeling or things like that you can put matches uh, you know you can't fit the battery in there but things like matches lighter or some other little tools you can use uh, and additionally because they airtight uh, if you drop them into the water with a GoPro mounted onto it they actually float so they don't they don't sink so if by any chance with one of those the, you lose the GoPro you cannot actually always find it because it just sits like a little bouncy thing in the water and found it quite useful in the swimming pools and uh, when snorkeling so I have two of them um, additionally I've got the GoPro uh, small tripod so it's a little tripod uh, for you know you know you can put it just about anywhere and connect your GoPro and it come, comes handy um, haven't used it much but it does come handy quite often um, obviously all the screws here I have the uh, the sucker so that's mainly if you go things like rock climbing or anything and you want to mount it on the helmet so that comes in handy and got one here as well a uh, few other connectors here and there Right, and that's a connector for the bigger uh, tripod and obviously I have the charger with an extra two batteries so this charger actually comes quite handy I, I use it 
all the time obviously you know you've got two batteries in the gopros and uh, then uh, two batteries charging and you connect your power block here and you can charge them on the go which is quite good and uh, works very well and a very compact size so that, that that's the main gopro setup um so we'll, we'll I'll put it back, I'll, I'll show you the other accessories I have that I don't use and then we'll get back to the cameras and I'll, I'll talk a little bit about the cameras from the user perspective rather than, you know, any technical specifications or anything like that. So I'll put that to the side for now and we'll move this. So this is additional tools I have. So I guess th this one is you can mount, you know, a clip on the bike or motorbike or any you know tubing thing and uh, never used it this one as i already mentioned um use it uh on on the cars especially when we go off-roading uh, you mount this one either on the side of the car or on the top of the car that actually does get quite good footage um, i also have this bit uh, so that's a strap you put over your shoulders, I'm not sure if you can see it well, but never used it. Uh, it came in one of the packs, so might use it one day, but really haven't had any use for it. And additionally, I have a second box, so I have a little magnetic clip. So you jam your GoPro connector here, and then it's a, it's a magnetic. So I guess you can you can put it on on, on the sides of something, and that will stick to it. Haven't used it, haven't found the use for it yet. Um, I have a, another one which is a GoPro, so you literally mount on your arm like this and shoot videos, I guess. Also never used it, but might come in handy one day. And then I have a few other connectors, bits and pieces and, and a few other straps, which I really haven't used. So that's about it. Uh, most of the stuff comes uh, you know, when you buy a GoPro packages, you know, they come free of charge and uh, you really don't use most of it, but I mean, it's, it, I guess it's a nice to, nice to have thing. So let's get back to the main GoPros and, and just see what I have. And I'll talk through a little bit about the six and seven and the differences that I found. So. Uh, both GoPros about the same size, same weight, uh, very easy to use, so a lot of functionality, I have to admit, the, the, I'm quite impressed with it. both cameras, uh, there's a lot of functionality, a very good uh, stabilizing sensor, so, so when you're walking around you get a, and the camera is bouncing up and down, you still get a very still, uh, very nice quality videos and you know, it, it, it's, it's hardly any movement that you can see. Um, few genuine differences, I guess, I have noticed while using both of them. So I've noticed the GoPro 7 battery tends to drain a little bit faster. Not sure why. Uh, I, I, based on reviews I've read on, online, I mean, they, they're all saying that it lasts longer, but for whatever reason, my one. In my case, I found the six uh, tend to stay a bit longer uh, with the battery that you know came with GoPros. Um, additionally, I used them mainly for videos, right? So I used them either in swimming pool, ocean snorkeling, or occasionally when we do off-roading, you know, you mount them on the cars and. Uh, you take the videos. Additionally, I do mount them occasionally on the RC cars that we race. So, you know, if you, you've seen some of my other videos, the, there's one where the GoPro is mounted on top of the RC car, and uh, you just you can see. Uh, I don't know if you can see. There's a bit of scratching and everything. But the good thing is because it's all uh, uh, screen protectors, right? So the actual not the scratches in the lens itself it's just a, on a screen protector and you just change there's a little thing peels off and puts it on and you now you can see the same here they obviously had some usage to it but because i use mainly them for videos i don't really do photos or anything with gopros 
The feature that I like, and this is probably one of the better features on the GoPro, is when you click, uh, the, so if you have the GoPro in the off position, so it's completely off, you push this button, uh, record button, right? And it literally turns the GoPro and starts recording automatically. And then uh, you can push the button again and it saves the video. So, and that's probably the most used feature by me, right? And I would say from a user perspective, that would be the most common feature used by a lot of uh, people. But what I've noticed is that the speed that it starts recording on the GoPro 7 is a lot slower than on GoPro 6, right? So if we were to take two cameras and I haven't actually done it, it's just probably my personal view, but we push the buttons at the same time. Let's see which one will come on first. So let's do it in three, two, one, go. See the six already recording and the seven took additional second. And again, here it took a little bit longer to save the video. So in that respect, I found find using six a lot better because if you want to take a want to start recording fast as you just use the button to record button in the off position when the camera is off right the six starts to record faster and i mean for me it's probably the really the one feature that i constantly use and uh, you know in, in that respect i still use six a lot more um so I'm not going to get in really into technical bit of the GoPros. Uh, there you can look, there's plenty of reviews on the functionality and everything. But from a user perspective, I still think, you know, I haven't tested the 8. I'm still thinking of either if I should buy it or not. But 6 is for me slightly better than 7. And I still tend to use 6 a lot more. Uh, with remote, as I said, um, it's a very good uh, piece of equipment. Uh, it works very well, so it connects via Wi-Fi to the camera, and uh, you can turn it on and off. Especially, if, you know, the camera is not in the immediate reach. The only thing is, um, the remote is waterproof, and uh, you, you can also go swimming with it. Fortunately, I found that Wi-Fi doesn't work underwater, so it's kind of, you know, if you're snorkeling or anything, and your camera and remote both underwater or the camera underwater and remote out of the water you, know, you won't be able to use it so you know it has its limitations mm. what else uh, i guess another feature i wanted to talk to you about is uh, gopro app so i find the gopro app is very very good uh, it's very easy to use uh, it's very responsive and you can control both uh, camera from it you can download videos from the camera straight away and uh, basically just do just about everything and very easy to set up as well so you know i'll show you an example so you turn the camera on so the camera is on right then you take your mobile uh you go to settings uh, into Wi-Fi. Uh, it should pick up the camera's Wi-Fi SSID. Let's see. Sometimes it takes a little bit longer. Let me just restart. I did find it in the last second. I think. Yep, here we go. So that has the Wi-Fi. So you, you connect to the Wi-Fi of the camera. So it's connected. Then you go to the uh, GoPro app. Right, you go into cameras and you can see the GoPro is connected. So you have uh, two choices, control your GoPro. So if we they control the GoPro, we can actually see what the GoPro is seeing, right? Or we just go and view media, right? And you can see all the, you know, the videos that we did today and, you know, 
some other videos and just go just select whatever videos you want you click this button and it says it straight to your phone so very easy to use uh, very responsive and, and i think it's personally i think it's a brilliant piece of kit the gopro and I, for anyone you know uh, doing uh, any action sports or you know just having fun with the kids uh, you know, with your own kids in a swimming pool or going out, you know, to the water parks or anything. GoPro is amazing. Um, don't have to worry about getting it wet. Uh, you can snorkel with it, you can dive with it. I'm not sure of the range, but I'm sure, you know, basically any normal, you know, not special individual will, will not exhaust the, the capabilities of these cameras few recommendations i have to say uh, if you're buying the gopro make sure you buy the covers for the lens for the screen and just to protect them because they do fall fall they do you know you, you use them in all over the place so you, you will get scratches and you know just to make sure you don't damage the lenses uh, and otherwise i mean you know have fun you know that's what, what we're all about very easy to use, very user friendly. You know, you probably, most of us will not use 50% uh, of the feature that it has, but on, you know, as a, as a user, it's not professional. For, you know, normal use, these cameras are perfect. And I actually think they're not that expensive. Uh, you know, with eight coming out now, you can probably buy six, maybe for about 100, 150 bucks seven maybe about two two fifty and eight i think it's about three three fifty right now so for the price and for the quality and for the you know the the quality of the footage that you get as well uh it's that's i think it's not expensive so well that's it for now uh that that's it for the video do let me know the co in comments if you found it useful uh and i'll put the link uh, to the website where i have some examples where i used on you know RC cars or in, in the ocean or snorkeling and swimming pools etc. So thank you for watching and see you soon again. Thank you.